GameStop has officially announced that their graded card trade-in program is live. The promotional image says get cash today for your trading cards. Cash or credit on PSA graded cards rated 8, 9, or 10. It seems they will only be working with PSA for the time being. Available now in Connecticut, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, New York, Tennessee, or Texas. Now considering that I live in Connecticut, the constitution state, I had to make sure to try this service out for myself. Now before anything, I did call my local GameStop to make sure that they were participating in this program. Here is audio of that call. Thank you for calling GameStop. I can help you. Hi, uh, I just had a question. I just saw something online that you guys are um, purchasing graded trading cards. Is this store participating in that? Yes, we are. So with the confirmation from my local GameStop employee, we have to pick a graded card to sell. And we're going with this PSA 9 Glaceon V alternate art from Evolving Skies. One of the reasons I chose this card is because it does have a decent amount of buy sell data right from eBay sold listings. And with the data from the eBay sold listings, we can confirm that this card is selling from anywhere at $80 to $90. The next step is to go inside my GameStop. So here I am in front of it and I was not allowed to record on the inside, which is perfectly fine. That is GameStop's policies. I did manage to snag this picture right here of the card reader, which does show the trade in value that I would be receiving for trading in the card. I did go with the in-store credit option as here I am walking out with a GameStop card, but let me go ahead and talk more about my experience a little more candidly for all of you. Right off the bat, let's just talk about the thing that everybody wants to talk about. How much money did I get? So if you notice in that image before, I'll put it on screen again, $63.75 is what they offered me of in-store credit. They did offer me around $54 of cash. The payout options for cash were obviously cash, Venmo, which was a little unexpected, and a prepaid card that I assume would be a debit card of, you know, like from Visa or something that you'd be able to swipe at like Walmarts or Targets or whatever. I did show earlier last sold listings for the Glaceon. I'll put them on screen again. 80 to $90, let's average that out at 85. So the in-store credit value they offered was $63.75. If we set our average price at $85, the in-store credit option is sitting right around 75% of market value. And it seems the cash value was around 10% less, which in the grand scheme of things, is really not that bad. I have seen people on Facebook Marketplace, Facebook buy and sell groups, card shops, card vendors at conventions offer way less than that. While I have also seen some offer more than that. But do remember that the higher value is something that you would have to use at GameStop because it's in-store credit. You can't really cash out on that. Now moving on to the actual intake process, they did have somewhat of a checklist that they should be looking at. Unfortunately, they could not give me the checklist, but it seems I did find one online. And I can say that when they went through the intake process, they did go through this checklist. They used a magnifying glass to look at it. They put it under a black light. They did check the corners. They checked for scratches. They did all of that, which is great to know that my GameStop is doing that. But will all GameStop employees care enough for something like this? It really isn't a secret that GameStop employees don't really enjoy the job. So will they put their due diligence in of actually checking for all of these things? Who knows? This is my trade-in process. I have no idea how it will be if I were to buy a slab from them. Because if they don't do their due diligence and I do buy a slab, let's say online, that slab could come in with scratches or issues, or even worse, it could be fake. Which is a perfect segue for the next conversation I want to have. The way they scammed the card into their system was via the QR code on the back. Now the QR code pulled the card up and all of its information. It did also show them an image of what the card should look like. But this did have me thinking that when you do scan that QR code, it usually leads to that specific card's information on PSA's website. Which for GameStop will say, hey, this is a card that we have taken in. But what if the slab is using a reference number from a different card? So here's the scenario. I go to GameStop and I say, hey, here's my PSA card. Can you buy it from me? 
they say sure, they scan it and they go, wait, this card's already in our system. But the thing is, I'm the good guy. I know I have the correct real deal, but someone might have a fake label out there, a fake slab put together and given it to GameStop. I really don't know how they're gonna differentiate that or if the employees once again will be able to differentiate that. As much as people say that they can differentiate fake slabs from real slabs, we see fake slabs get sold around every few weeks in this community. And I understand that this is a hypothetical that I'm bringing up, but, food for thought. At the end of the day, this is my personal experience with my local GameStop and trading graded cards in to them. And I'm sure people are going to have different experiences all over the internet. So I highly recommend that you also do a little bit more research on the subject before you just go hand this in. In regards to getting the most money out of your card, obviously you're probably wanting to sell at full price, which you can do on eBay and Facebook groups or Twitter or however you sell. But if you're looking for a quick buck, this isn't the worst option out there and it's pretty simple to do.